Okay, then I should go back. Okay. Uh, we're going to go through our committees. And we'll have a few elections on, on a couple of them. Should I just go through the committees that are full and then do the elections? Do them in order? Okay, we'll just do them in order. Um, we need uh, ballot counters because we have to have, there's a few where we have to have an elections on. So again, since we already had Chad and Richard, um, you guys are still good for, okay, thank you. So again, we'll do the same process. Um, we'll let on those committees that need elections, we'll let you have a, a little little speech, and then you guys, and then everybody can vote. On some of them, you'll be voting for three people. When there's four, so when you're writing names down, remember you're writing the names down who you want on that committee. Okay. Well, on, I'll I'll read them out, and then if it requires three people on a committee, then you will then write three names down. No, you don't have to. Okay. Sorry, I just got to get to the right point here. Uh, so uh, we have the appointment of standing committees. All trustees are appointed to the following four committees. Superintendent Evaluation Committee, Board Self-Evaluation Committee, Planning Committee, and First Nation Mady Inuit and LRSD Liaison Committee. Uh, our next one on the list is our Regional School Council. All trustees are members of the Regional School Council and one trustee will assume the role of chairperson and one the role of vice chair. Um, there was two names put forward for that committee. So the Board of Trustees, um, the recommendation is that the Board of Trustees approve Trustee Lori Hodges assuming the role of vice chair and Lacey Poitras assuming the role of chair of the regional council or the regional school council. Can I get someone to make that motion? Uh, Jim. All in favor? Carried. Our next on the list is our regional council of student leaders. Um, is that one on there? This is one that will require um, an election. All trustees are members of the Regional Council of Student Leaders and one trustee will assume the role as a primary facilitator. The recommendation that the board approve, the trustees approve, um, one trustee assuming the role of the primary facilitator of the Regional Council of Student Leaders. Can I get someone to make that motion? Lacey? So there's three names on the Regional Council of Student Leaders. I'll give everybody just a few minutes to talk to it and then we will have an election. So we have Greg Long, Lori Hodges, and oh, Lacey Poitras. Just, Sarah? Point of order, uh, you don't have to make a motion at the beginning, you make a motion when you get the three after, after the vote. Three. Thank yeah. you, Clara. All right, so uh, Greg, would you like to go first? Am I doing this right? <laughs> I just picked one, I didn't go alphabetically. This is, uh, this is one of my favorites because I enjoy being so much with the students and working with the young people. Um, I might be a, an elder, which some might think goes against me, but actually all my years of teaching and everything, I've always had a great rapport with young people. And obviously I have a lot of experience and uh, I did a good job the last two years and I would uh, enjoy doing a good job the next two years. Um, this is not one that I've been on before, but I've been to two different uh, Regional School Council of Student Leaders events with the students last year, and I just love the feeling in the room, and <clears throat> it was eye-opening to see the perspectives, suggestions, and thoughts of um, our young leaders in throughout the division, and it changed my perspective in the board meetings, and... I think that's an important perspective to have, which is why I put my da name down for um, this committee, and I'd like to serve on it. Thank you. Um, I will say this is one of my most passionate committees that I've ever been a part of. I have worked really hard on this committee to get to um, where the kids are now and developing leadership within our school division. 
I love the direction that we've headed with our students, and I would really like to continue to work with the kids and, and see the rest of the two years out here and, and know that everything that I've done and helped with that I, to see it to the end of the two year here. Um, again, this is one of my favorite committees and it's my top choice. I just love working with the kids and, and working with the, the teachers and I would really like to continue on this committee. Thanks. Okay, so now if everybody could just write, we need two people on this committee. Yep. One is the vice chair and then one is the um, primary facilitator. Um, you can write two names on one paper and then they can, right? Didn't we do it that way? Yeah, and then... Um, Sorry, what did you say? What? Sorry? I just smoked in my throat. Okay. Sorry, I just have to write mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody put your hands together. Yes. Well, it says one trustee will assume the. Oh, well, where's the other one that I read? Yeah, sorry. Because yeah. It, we've always had like two. Yeah. yeah. There should be two. Yeah. There should be. That's what this is. There should be. Yes. There should always be two. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Uh, sorry, we we did change it so that the whole board wasn't involved, but there's always been one primary and then the this like a Okay, so our Regional Council of Student Leaders, we have Lori Hodges and Greg Long. All those in favor? Passed. Carried. Okay. So do we have any next on our audit committee? Uh, our next um, is our audit committee. We have an election for... Um, we have position for three trustees, and we have four running. So we have Brad Toon, John McKee, Laurie Hodges, and Jim Burdett. I will now open it up to everyone to give um, a little speech, a little bit to say why they want to be on this committee, and then we will do the elections. So we'll start with Jim. Um, I think it's really important that we pay attention to our finance, and I think having an audit committee is going to help us to do that or help us to be more efficient at that and that's why I want to be part of it. Thank you. Uh, I also echo what Jim just said. It's really important to stay fiscally responsible, especially this with our new government and seeing where we're going to be headed. I would also like to be part of this and making sure that we stay on track. And we'll go to John. By myself, it's been one of my down faults in life that I seem to like going through statements and analyzing what's going on and where the money's being spent. I've always tried to be a fairly frugal person when it comes to that, but that doesn't mean that 
you know, think you have to spend money in a certain direction, then you certainly have to spend it. But uh, I myself, I like going over and uh, looking through um, the financial seat, uh, sheets, and that's uh, sort of a passion that I have. So if I get elected, I will certainly be part of a good team. Brad? Thank you. Going in last makes it hard. I just get to say ditto, but uh, <laughs> I think, uh, as uh, Trustee McKee alluded, the, the background in farming uh, and fiscal responsibility, I think, growing up has really uh, played a key in this. This was my first choice for uh, uh, committees when I put up uh, our little sticky notes next door. I think that it, this is very important, as with uh, Trustee Hodges said, with the new government and everything we have going on, we, we need to make sure we continue to do our due diligence. We, we have a great group of trustees that have uh, been uh, done a wonderful job in the past, and we need that to continue. So I'm excited for the opportunity to uh, to have the chance to to serve on this committee. Thank you. So we have room for three uh, trustees on this committee. If everyone could write up to three names down, and then we'll have our ballots, our ballot selections. Yeah, we're ready. Yep. Everybody ready? Where are you?
All right, can I have your attention back, please? Audit committee, uh, recommendation that the Board of Trustees appoint John McKee, Brad Toon, and Jim Burdett as members of the audit committee. Can I get someone to make that motion? I will. Lacey, all in favor? Carried. Our next is our labor relations. Uh, we have an election on our labor relations committee, three trustees. Oh, hold on, I just, I'm just gonna write them down and then I'll give them to you. Just give me a sec. Uh, three trustees and one provincial representative. So we have Greg Long, Lacey Poitras, Jim Burdett, and Clara Yegas. Um, one provincial. Oh, why do, yeah, okay. So we just have position for three trustees. Our we'll TIBA rep will come from the, that yeah, three membership. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. So I'll let you, again, you'll get a chance to speak. Uh, so we'll open it up to Jim. Did you want to go first, please? Sure. Um, uh, sorry, uh, just just one second, Chair, point yeah. of order. I just, if, uh, it, as everyone's going around, could everyone list what other uh, committees that they're on now? Because I had a hard time keeping track of what everything was. So that just might keep in mind when we're voting if, if somebody's not on anything else, and this is really gonna be their only workload um, committee. Okay. Go ahead, Jim. Okay. Anyway, so I need, okay, so so far I'm on um, the last committee, and, and then I think I'm on the two PO committees, which are pretty relaxed. Remuneration. Yeah. And remuneration is what I put them on. <coughs> and so why do I want to negotiate? Because I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff goes, why do you like this? I just do. Um, we've had some good experiences Is that. I'm pretty good at it. Negotiated probably out of all the 12 years of being a trustee, I've negotiated probably all of them and so I like doing it it's fulfilling for me I think we do a good job and that's why I want to keep doing it all right uh, Greg long please um, I have a, a lot of experience in this as well uh, I would consider this to be my forte as far as being a school trustee um, I also um, I don't know if I'd say enjoy it, but it's really important. Uh, and so it's something that I'm really focused on. Uh, I do a fairly good job of collaborating with the other side, try and stay away from conflict. And uh, I, I think I do a really good job at the table and working with everybody. Thanks, Greg. Clara Yegas? Uh, I've been on the committee for well, I think 10 out of the 11 years that I have uh, been a board member. I was also part of the negotiating committee with, uh, on the other side when I was a teacher, so I know both sides of it, but I like it. I like the way that we, uh, the, the negotiations, we, we should be pointed out, we've already started negotiations, and uh, I also have a my uh, knowledge of policy comes into this a lot too, so it, it's helpful. So I would still like to be on this because I, I feel this is one of the, this and policy are my two passions. Lacey Poitras. Uh, this is the first sticky note that I put up. It's my number one choice. It is not where I'm most comfortable at all or um, where I have the most knowledge, which is why I put my name here. I wanna be a well-rounded trustee. I wanna understand all facets of it. I like negotiations. I'm great at keeping a level head. I'm open-minded and I'm good with confidentiality. So I really wanna learn and grow. This was my number one focus coming into this year was to learn by getting involved with the ATA and labor or executive and hopefully labor and negotiations. And it's something that I'm passionate about. I'm very interested in. So that's why I put my name down. Thank you. So if everyone could just write down three names on your sheet of paper, up to three names, and we'll have our ballot collectors come around with their basket.
just to bring you back here, we have a tie for a third place. So the, the first two in uh, negotiations are Lacey Poitras and Greg Long, and we have a tie between Clara and Jim. So we just need to vote again between Clara and Jim. If you want to speak again, you definitely have an opportunity to. I know. The next trustee on our um, labor relations is Jim Burdett. <laughs> Recommendation that the Board of Trustees appoints Lacey Poitras, Greg Long, and Jim Burdett as members of the Labor Relations Committee. Could somebody make that motion? Greg? All in favor? Carried. Recommendations of the Board of Trustees appoint as a representative of the Board should the province request one to be part of the provincial negotiations. We, yeah, we didn't uh, name Tiba in that in case there was a name change um, previously. So that's what that's re requesting. And um, I would um, put forward that we, we uh, keep uh, Trustee Long in that because he's already on the position. Okay. So the recommendation that the Board of Trustees appoint Greg Long as a representative of the Board should the province request one to be part of the provincial no negotiations. Jim, all in favor? <laughs> Carried. Appeals Committee, recommendation that the Board of Trustees appoints Jim Burdett, Brad Toon, and Greg Long as members of the Appeals Committee. Can I get somebody to make that motion? Lacey? All in favor? Carried. Discipline Committee, recommendation that the Board of Trustees appoints Jim Burdett, Greg Long, and Lacey Poitras to the Discipline Committee. Can I get somebody to make that motion? Greg. All in favor? Carried. Awards and Recognition Committee, the Board, recommendation that the Board of Trustees appoints Brad Toon and Lori Hodges as members of the Awards Committee. Can I get somebody to make that motion? Greg. All in favor? Professional Learning Committee, recommendation that the Board of Trustees appoints Jim Burdett and Clara Yegas, members of the Professional, De Professional Development Committee. Can I get somebody to make that motion? <laughs> Thanks, Jim. All in favor? Policy Review Committee, the recommendation that the Board of Trustees appoints John McKee, Claire Yegas, and Brad Toon to the Policy Review Committee. Can I get somebody to make that motion? Brad? All in favor? Carried. 
ATA Executive and LRSD Liaison Committee, there is an election for this one. We have three running for one position as it's two trustees. No, we have three running for one position because the second trustee is always board chair. Uh, so we have Lacey Poitras, Greg Long, and Clara Yegas. So I'll let you guys speak to the committee and why you want to be on it, starting with Greg. Like the uh, student leadership, uh, because I was a teacher, this is one of the committees that uh, I really enjoy sitting on. Uh, I think it's important. Um, and uh, maybe I have a little uh, more experience than the others as far as working with teachers. So uh, I would uh, do a good job. Thank you. Can I get Lacey Poitras now? I have no experience um, as a teacher or working with teachers, so all of my knowledge base is coming from a board uh, perspective, which is why I think it's important to be able to sit down with ATA members and hear what they have to say and their perspective and have those important discussions. I love getting our updates about these meetings and hearing what happened, which is why this year I wanted to focus more on this and be at the table. Clara Yegas. Like Greg, I have the experience in, in knowing working with teachers, and uh, I also like to sit down with them and talk to them, and we do it quite often. So uh, that's why I'd like to be on this committee. So fun! If you could write down one name out of the two, out of the three, sorry, <laughs> out of the three, and we'll have our ballots come, collectors come around and grab them. One name. Okay, ATA Executive LRSD Liaison Committee and recommendation that the Board of Trustees appoint Greg Long, along with Lori Hodges as chair, as members of the ATA Executive LRSD Tr Trustee Liaison Committee. Can I get somebody to make that motion, please? John? All in favor? Trustee Renumeration Committee, the Board of Trust the, that the Board of Trustees appoints Jim Burdett, Clara Yegas, and Brad Toon as members of the Trustee Renumeration Committee. Can I get somebody to make that motion? Tracy? Yep. All in favor? Carried. Appointments of other representations. ASBA Zone 6 representation. Recommendation that the Board of Trustees. That one, uh, Chair, uh, Board of Order, I'd ask that we table that one till our November meeting, till after our Zone 6 meetings. That way we can align our representative uh, until that time. 
and that our current um, uh, rep sits till till then. I'm, I'm making a motion to table. Okay. If we appoint a, uh, one of those two people and they they don't, those two people don't get elected, because our intention was to align that with who's sitting at the table. Okay. Anybody would like to speak to that motion? Are we just going to keep on with the people that are right now until the November one? Correct. Any other questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Carried. Uh, Alberta Southwest Regional Alliance. Board of Trustees will appoint one trustee to the Alberta Southwest Regional Alliance and one trustee as alternate. Again, we'd ask for this to the item to be tabled to our October meeting upon further um, discussion at our upcoming committee of the whole. Anybody want to speak to the motion? All in favor? Carried. LRSD Wisdom and Guidance Council, recommendation that the Board of Trustees appoint Lacey Poitras as representative of the First Nation Education Council and Trustee John McKee as the alternate. Can I get somebody to make that motion? Lacey, all in favor? Carried. Committee Board representation, Livingston Ski Academy, recommendation that the Board of Trustees appoints Greg Long as the Livingston Ski Academy representative and Trustee Clara Yegas, oh, sorry, I got that backwards. Sorry, Clara Yegas is the Livingston Ski Academy representative and Greg Long is the alternate. Can I get somebody to make that motion? John, all in favor? Carried. ASBA Rural Caucus, recommendation that the Board of Trustees appoint Lori Hodges as chair and as the ASBA Rural Caucus representative and trustee Clara Yegas as the alternate. Can I get somebody to make that motion? Brad, all in favor? Carried. Yeah, do we have to do discussion on another? No. no? Yeah, uh, recommendation that the Board of Trustees approve the ballots be destroyed. Can I get somebody to make that motion? Okay, thank you, Jim. All in favor? Carried. Okay. I have some here too. Oh, now we're at adjournment. Can I get somebody to make a motion for adjournment? Brad, at 12.36. All in favor?